Look how beautiful out here. There's people as far as the eye can see. It's beautiful, it's muggy, 101 degree heat index, about 93 degrees, 95% humidity. It's just beautiful. And it's breaking my heart. I've been here three and a half days. I come to Destin all the time, as you guys know. And what breaks my heart? The size of people. I feel for them. I feel bad for them. I used to be them. I remember the story driving this country, driving my car across the country. And I'm getting in and out of that car so many times a day. And I actually was thinking about selling that car and other cars that I've had and have over the years that I have to get down into as opposed to how easy it was to get into my truck. And I was going to sell those cars because I couldn't get in and out of them. That's how fat I was. That's how out of shape I was. That's how little strength I had. So I think about that for everybody. And when I see the people here who I know are miserable, who, who either can't hold themselves to account, have just given up hope, but I know are miserable, make excuses as to why they are the way that they are, the size that they are, want to do something about it and just constantly fail. We all have that excuse. And, and, and I don't mean to judge, but but paradise relative to your health is not too far away if we can just get there and I heard some I heard it put a great way about dieting the other day on a podcast I don't remember where and essentially they said that dieting or giving up the food that you like to eat is one of the toughest things to do one of the toughest addictions to give up because you still have to do that addiction i.e. you still have to eat if you are a cocaine addict you just stop cocaine if you're a gambler you just stop gambling if you are an alcoholic you just stop drinking alcohol. Not, and you're not going to die if you don't drink alcohol, if you don't gamble, if you uh, don't do drugs. You're not going to die. If you don't eat, you're going to die. And so I, I, in that context, I see the complexity involved even more so. Uh, and it shows, I guess, to a much greater extent what I've been saying all along, which is it is a discipline and a discipline we all need to we all need to go with. I mean, looking out across this beach, you're talking 80% of these people are obese. Uh, certainly a large percentage of them, let's say, are overweight, and, and a massive percentage of them, of them, more than half, are obese. And it's just a miserable way to live. I was there. It can be fixed quickly. you just got to want to do it. So this is my encouragement to all of you. I feel for everybody that's out there. It, it doesn't take a long time. you just got to put your head down and get going. So opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them, start by getting on a diet and going for a walk. I don't care what kind of diet it is. Just cut out that sugar and those carbs if you can, those complex carbs in particular. That's a great place to start. Let's do this, people, so we can go to the beach and feel good about ourselves. Forget about how we look. Feel good about ourselves. Let's go. Let's do it. This is embarrassing. It's hard for me to look at. I want to help everybody, but it's hard. I get it. Go for a walk, guys.